there's something else about it that I want you to think about. It says, it says, and Jesus, in Jesus was life, or in him, in Jesus was life, and the life was the very life of men. That life is, I want you to imagine if we didn't have that light, when God said, let there be light, when God created the sun, and the moon, and the stars, God created the grass, we, we, we get to go watch ball games, we have eyes that we can, we can enjoy things and ears to hear things, we have the ability to think and to talk, we have the ability to smell and taste, God gives us all those things, and Jesus did that, that is, this is the Jesus, with all that power, to made that happen from nothing. And then something happened in, in Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis chapter 2, God told us, told Adam and Eve, he said, that they can eat from all the trees in the garden, but they can't eat from the, the one tree, the knowledge of, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But then, in chapter 3, the, the serpent comes down and he deceives Eve, and, in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14, it says, Adam was not deceived, but Eve being deceived fell into transgression. And I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about the woman, because I want you all to think about this. We are all her descendants, every one of us. We are all her descendants. So we are all able to be deceived. Paul, as a matter of fact, Paul tells us twice in 1 Corinthians 6 and in Galatians 5, he tells us, Galatians 6, he tells us, do not be deceived. He writes that to the church because we can be deceived. And James tells us in the first chapter of, of James, he says, do not be deceived. And then, he, again, that letter is written to the church because we can be deceived. And so, 